Hey everyone, it's Madeline, and this video is all about what to expect when visiting Cuyahoga Valley National Park in Ohio. Cuyahoga Valley is an extremely accessible park for visitors, but we feel there are a few things you should know before heading out on your trip. If you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Our subscribers help shape our future adventures. If you stick around until the end of the video, we'll discuss our own trip to Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Know before you go. Cuyahoga Valley National Park is located along the Cuyahoga River in Ohio between Cleveland and Akron and is one of the few national parks located in the Midwest. Cuyahoga Valley was established in 1974 and is the result of environmental activism to clean up the Cuyahoga River. Once the river was cleared up, animals such as bald eagles, beavers, and river otters returned to the area. Restoration projects are ongoing and the park is committed to protecting the Cuyahoga River for generations to come. Definitely take some time to learn about this park's history because we feel that makes this park unique from other national parks. Cuyahoga Valley National Park is a dog-friendly national park. Pets are allowed on over 100 miles of hiking trails. Just remember to keep your pet on a six-foot leash and be sure to clean up after your four-legged friend. The park is open 365 days a year and there is no entry fee into Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Things to do. Brandywine Falls. This popular mile and a half hike will take you down to the falls and along the gorge. This is an easy hike for everyone. You'll just have to take around 80 stairs to the lower viewing area for the falls. This is a popular stop in the park and it's best to visit early morning or later afternoon to avoid crowds. Hike the Ledges. The Ledges Trail is one of the most popular hiking spots in all of Cuyahoga Valley National Park. The full trail loop is 1.8 miles and takes you past various stunning rock formations. We found this hike to be very peaceful and easy for the whole family, including our dog, Howie. The Everett Covered Bridge. The Everett Covered Bridge is one of the most popular spots for photography in the park. There are also several hiking and horseback riding trails in this area as well. Beaver Marsh. This is where you have the opportunity to see wildlife inside Cuyahoga Valley National Park. What was once a salvage yard is now where beavers, river otters, and blue heron love to hang out. You can walk along the towpath trail and keep your eyes peeled for wildlife along the way. Early morning and dusk are the best times to see wildlife in this area. The Scenic Train Ride. Cuyahoga has a train system that operates throughout the park. There are various stops and points of interest along the way, including the Boston Mill Visitor Center and the Brexville Station. Tickets are $16 for adults and 11 for children, and the round trip ride takes over two hours. Towpath Trail. The Towpath Trail is about 100 miles long total, but only about 20 miles of those are inside the national park. This trail runs along the river throughout the entire park, so you can get on at various points along the way. It's a great place to bike and take in the sights of the park. Kayaking. Kayaking down the Cuyahoga River is a very popular activity in the park and an incredible way to gain a different perspective of the area. You must bring your own equipment for this activity and should always be aware of your surroundings and take all safety precautions. Where to stay. There are no lodges or campgrounds within the park that are run by the National Park Service. There is the inn at Brandywine Falls which offers lodging closest to the park. The park is located about a half an hour from Cleveland, so finding hotel options is fairly easy near the park. There are several Ohio state parks that are great options for camping that are within driving distance to the park. As I mentioned at the start of the video, we'll now discuss our own trip to Cuyahoga Valley National Park. So what surprised you about Cuyahoga Valley? What surprised me was learning about the history, especially the restoration project that they undertook to clean up the park. and. A lot of times when we go to national parks, it is fun to learn about the history of the park. And sometimes you have old settlements, but this one really had an urban setting that caused for a lot of pollution in the area and they cleaned it up and it's a beautiful park. And I just really felt that learning about that was something that I really enjoyed. I think what surprised me about the park was just how accessible it is. It's open 365 days a year. There's no entry fee into the park. You're just sort of driving through the middle of Ohio between two big cities, and you can just pop into the park and explore this beautifully restored area. And it isn't like other national parks where you really need to spend multiple days. You can spend one day in this park and really take it in and really enjoy it. If you want to spend multiple days, you can do that too. But I just kind of like that we could pop into the park and really explore and enjoy it. 
I also loved that it was dog friendly. There aren't that many dog friendly national parks and to be able to bring our dog on all the different hiking trails was just a lot of fun for all of us. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more from our trip to Cuyahoga Valley National Park, be sure to check out our vlog up on our channel now.